In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on September 20th, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Detroit Tigers vs. Baltimore Orioles The Detroit Tigers are set to face the Baltimore Orioles, with both teams eager to cap off their strong seasons by securing postseason spots. The Tigers, currently holding an 80-73 record, are riding a wave of momentum with four consecutive victories. They now find themselves just half a game out of a coveted wild card spot in the American League. On the other hand, the Orioles, boasting an 84-68 record, are sitting in second place in the highly competitive American League East Division. However, their recent form has been shaky, having won only two of their last 10 games, which has put them on edge as the season winds down. Detroit enters this game with high hopes of extending their winning streak to five games, continuing to be one of the hottest teams in Major League Baseball. The Tigers have been particularly strong on the road this season, posting a solid 41-37 record away from home. Meanwhile, the Orioles have performed well at Camden Yards, holding a respectable 43-35 home record. Despite their recent struggles, the Orioles managed to avoid a series sweep on Thursday with a dramatic walk-off home run. However, their overall performance in recent series has left much to be desired. Baltimore will be looking to their ace, Corbin Burns, to deliver on the mound, as he has been exceptional in recent starts. While Detroit has yet to officially name a starting pitcher, their pitching staff and bullpen have been nothing short of spectacular down the stretch. Given Burns' recent form, it would seem Baltimore has the upper hand, but Detroit's recent head-to-head -head success, having taken two out of three from the Orioles last weekend, and their current hot streak make the Detroit Tigers' money line our full-game side pick. Offensively, the Orioles, who are averaging 4.8 runs per game, are poised to continue their scoring prowess, especially with Gunnar Henderson, Anthony Santander, and the rest of the batting order displaying strong plate discipline and the ability to drive in runs with ease. The Tigers, meanwhile, have also been putting runs on the board, tallying 18 runs over their last four games. Key hitters like Riley Green, Matt Veerling, and Colt Keith have been swinging the bats well, consistently making solid contact and threatening to clear the bases with every at-bat. Both teams have been impressive at the plate since the All-Star break, with the Tigers averaging 4.21 runs over their last 56 games and the Orioles slightly ahead, scoring 4.58 runs in their 57 games since the Midsummer Classic. While both teams have shown offensive firepower, the bullpens are likely to play a role in pushing this game over the projected total. Detroit's relievers have been among the best in baseball, ranking fifth overall with a 3.56 earned run average, while Baltimore's bullpen has struggled, sitting at 20th in the league with a 4.14 earned run average. Despite strong recent outings from both starting pitchers, the combination of Detroit's surging offense and Baltimore's vulnerability in the bullpen suggest this could be a high-scoring affair. With both lineups stepping up at the right time and a relatively low projected total, over the projected total is our full-game total pick. Philadelphia Phillies vs. New York Mets In a classic National League East rivalry, the New York Mets will host the Philadelphia Phillies this Friday at Citi Field. The Phillies are sitting comfortably at the top of the division with an impressive 91-62 record, holding a six-game lead over the Mets. However, they come into this matchup on the heels of two consecutive losses. On the other hand, the Mets have been on an incredible hot streak, surging into a tie for the second wild card spot alongside the Arizona Diamondbacks. Riding the momentum of a four-game winning streak, the Mets look to keep the pressure on as they welcome Philadelphia for this crucial series opener. Despite the Mets' recent success and the Phillies losing three out of their last four, I anticipate a shift in the dynamic over the next couple of games. Sanchez has been performing at a higher level recently, and the Phillies have maintained a respectable road record, winning more than half of their games away from home. Even though the Mets won four straight, they dropped two of three games to the Phillies last week in Philadelphia. With both teams sending out solid starting pitchers but questionable bullpens, this game is likely to hinge on a single critical mistake. 
Both offenses have shown the ability to score when necessary, so one key error might tip the scales. While it's a tough call, I'm leaning toward the Phillies based on the law of averages. Therefore, the Philadelphia Phillies money line is our full game side pick. The Phillies have capitalized on their matchups with the Mets this season, averaging five runs across their 10 meetings, including a six-run outing on Friday. Mets pitcher David Peterson hasn't fared well historically against the Phillies, carrying a career-earned run average of 4.57 in these divisional battles. On the flip side, the Mets' offense has been on fire, scoring 15 runs in three games against Philadelphia last weekend and an impressive 10 runs on Friday alone. With New York tallying 33 runs in their last five games, their bats are clearly heating up. The over has hit in five of the Mets' last eight contests, and I expect plenty of runs in this game as well. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Minnesota Twins vs. Boston Red Sox The Minnesota Twins are set to visit the Boston Red Sox this Friday, kicking off a crucial weekend series at the historic Fenway Park. This matchup carries significant weight as the Twins are currently clinging to the third and final playoff spot in the American League, just narrowly ahead of the rising Detroit Tigers, who have been gaining momentum. On the other hand, the Red Sox find themselves with only faint hopes of securing the third wildcard spot. For Boston, the stakes are particularly high. Anything less than a sweep this weekend will likely extinguish their playoff aspirations. As both teams approach this pivotal series, they do so while grappling with their respective struggles. The Red Sox might enjoy a slight advantage on Friday evening, primarily due to the Twins' unfamiliarity with rookie pitcher Richard Fitz, who will be making just his third career start. The Red Sox have managed to utilize Fitz strategically in his previous outings, allowing him only two turns through the opposing lineup before calling for relief. Conversely, the Twins arrive at Fenway having lost four out of David Festa's last five starts, with Festa managing to complete five innings in only one of those outings. While the Red Sox bullpen has been facing significant challenges this season, the Twins' relief pitchers will come into this series somewhat fatigued after a grueling four-game series against the Guardians. It's worth noting that, despite the Red Sox bullpen's troubling 26-place earned run average in the league, the Twins' bullpen is only marginally better, sitting at 20th. Despite the Twins being favored due to their superior record and proximity to a wild card spot, I find it difficult to support David Festa and his recent struggles, particularly in a favorite role. Richard Fitz has shown promise through his initial two starts, and while it may seem unlikely, the Red Sox still have a fighting chance in the wild card race. Playing at home with a more reliable pitcher, albeit in a limited sample size, gives the Boston Red Sox a fighting chance. Therefore, the Boston Red Sox money line is our full game side pick. The bullpen performances of both teams have been inconsistent throughout the season, with the Twins ranked 19th in Major League Baseball with a 4.12 reliever earned run average, while the Red Sox are struggling even more, sitting at 26th with a 4.54 earned run average among their relief pitchers. However, both teams have demonstrated a knack for hitting well with runners in scoring position. The Twins are currently 17th in the league with a .744 team OPS in such situations, while the Red Sox are faring slightly better at 13th with a .7 751 team OPS in those crucial moments. Heading into Thursday's matchup against the Guardians, the Twins have gone over the total in three of their last five games. Interestingly, the Red Sox have also seen the total exceed expectations in both of Fed starts this season. As it stands, the Red Sox are ranked ninth in the league for runs scored per game this season. Fenway Park itself is recognized as one of the top 10 hitters parks in baseball, which further enhances the potential for offensive fireworks. The Red Sox have gone 3 to 0 to 2 to the over in their last five games at home. With both teams playing at full throttle and managing fatigue bullpens, we anticipate a plethora of scoring opportunities on Friday night, making over the projected total as our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.